Welcome, welcome to my channel. This is coming with a warning. Because, oh, first of all, I'm working on Daydream Sea Turtles by Shanna Pike, art and illustration. Um, it was by Craftably. Yes, we are all very sad to see Crafter Big O. Uh, let me s uh, see what. Mm. Color I want to use. <laughs> Anyways, this is coming with a little warning. Twelve. 13, 12. I don't normally talk about politics on this channel because it could be a little bit of a hot spot. Now I got a TikTok that I might almost 3600. And as you know, they're trying to shut TikTok down. Folks, it, this morning they voted. It was a landslide. Um, basically what this uh, ban means. Well, first let me explain to you something about TikTok. Yes, TikTok. TikTok is banned in China. It is not a government app. They don't even hold the data. The company that holds the data is in the U.S. It is stationed in Singapore and they got office in the U.S. There's 7,000 employees. There are shops on TikTok who will lose their business. There are others that will lose their li livelihood. They actually make a living off of TikTok. No. Now, Everybody thinks it's about banning TikTok, and it really isn't. They're worried about data, what? Dancing videos, uh, craft channels, react channels? Come on, give me a break. Okay. This is about our freedom of speech. And mark my words, it's just the beginning. I actually called the senator office the other day. They, they won't even answer the phone. Went to voicemail. Now when they did that this morning... I called back. They answered the phone. And I told them, I says, you need to go back and read the Constitution, particularly the First Amendment. For, call, it's called freedom of speech. I says, I want you to know that you just lost my vote. And I'm not alone. There are, I don't know how many creators say they will vote. Against anybody who, who voted for it. So, what is the next step for TikTok? It has to go one more step. It has to go to Congress. I expect it will go through. Um, one senator was getting frustrated who voted to ban it, but yet he's on TikTok. Seriously? He's on TikTok 
complaining, saying they've been regarded with phone calls. This is about taking our rights away. And it's just the beginning, folks. You may say, oh, it's just TikTok, who cares? It's not about. The app, it is about freedom of speech. That's what it's about. This is a clear violation of our rights. It's against my right to freedom of speech. And when does it stop? Is Facebook next? YouTube? Clap? Twitter? Twitch? Who's next? Because mark my words, this is only going to be the, the beginning. It'll only be the beginning. We are losing rights. Our forefathers would be turning in their grave. Now you may say, well, how's TikTok violating your freedom of speech? Well, I think it's pretty obvious. They're telling you, you can't make videos. You can't talk about anything. We're going to stifle what you have to say. I mean, it's, it's just clear. Um, my TikTok, I actually have two. One's craft, that's all I do. But my bigger one that's almost at 3600 it's where I react, right? So there's my freedom of speech. And I put out a couple videos out discussing this on my TikTok. Because the next thing you know, they're going to attack religion. They will attack each of our right, rights until we lose them. Do not think that they won't. This is just the beginning. Mark my words. Our poor forefathers will be turning in their graves. Anyways, that's enough of politics. Let's move on to something else. Because it just pisses me off. <laughs> but I tell you, when I called her, she called him and I told him. She goes, well, what, my, 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 my. I says, no, ban me. I says, I think you need to go back and read the Constitution, especially the First Amendment. Because you guys just clearly violated it. Forty-five. So what else has been going on? Our car went on the blink. It's no more. It needed oil. I had the right kind of oil, but I poured it all in. I apparently put too much, because when I went to start it, it went to drive down the street. Black smoke just coming around, right? I merely drove it home. It blew a gasket. Well, a gasket is thirty six hundred. I mean, fifteen hundred to three thousand dollars, and it's an old car. Clearly, not worth fixing. So I put it on Craigslist for five hundred dollars. 
First, I tried a thousand, our best offer. No takers. So I changed it to $500 just to get rid of it. No, I have not got anybody. Because, you know, I was honest in the ad. I says, gas gets blown on it. If you want to put the money in to fix it, then the car will run fine. That present another issue. Because there's not exactly a bus system where I live. We're kind of out in the boondocks. I don't know why my mother ever bought a house in this area. I will never know. And I had to go to Mom's bank, which is like five miles down the road. So what do I do? I start walking. Next thing I know, I got two cops pulling over. They gave me a ride to the bank. And when they did, they told me of a thing called scat or something. He said it's just across the street. They didn't want to see me get hit by a car. There's enough space that you ain't going to get hit by a car. But anyways, so I took care of what I had to take care of my mother's bank. I went across the street inquire about it they could not get me a car ride so I had to walk back but I signed up and it's for they go anywhere in the village itself or just outside the village like to Walmart the only problem is you gotta call at least the day before Like I used it the other day and they picked me up at noon, take me to Walmart. Well, they were not going to pick me up to 1.30. So it took me maybe 20 minutes at that. When I was finished, I had an hour's wait. But it's a good thing because I forgot my mother's sickles. So I had to go back inside to get it. And you can buy a car for $36 because it's $4 each way. And they just punch it and at the end of it you get a free ride or something. Well, I was spending... $80 on gas a month. This is a little bit cheaper. But in calling the insurance company to take the car off, tells me my mom will lose a discount on her house insurance. So we would be paying 300 So what ended up being done, the car is not insured. But if I were driving your car and there was an accident, I'm insured. I can't remember what he called it. Crazy. I'm going to be searching for a new... Um, company to insure her house with. And my poor mom's throwing a fit about her car and I said, it's not worth fixing. You haven't got the money and I haven't got the money and I'd be damned if I'm going to put $3,000 in your car. The thing's a 2009 Honda sedan.
Yeah, so it's not really worth fixing. Plus, I can order groceries off of Instacart. And what they charge for delivery, I would spend that much in gas just to go to the grocery store and back. But then you, you also feel like you need to leave a tip. Especially out here, or there's not going to be nobody picking it up. That's the bottom line. If you don't put a tip on the app and they see it, they're not willing to drive out there or here when they don't know if they'll get a tip or not which I don't like to do I refer to give them tip when they get here so they don't have to turn it in and have to pay taxes but I find that if, when I do that it's hard it takes a while to get it I ain't figure out how I'm going to get her back and forth to um, her doctor's office. The ride service says, well, yeah, there is another SARS there. And they'll actually pick you up here and take you back. But it's like $35. I'm not... Can't afford to pay $35. Plus, when it's time to go to the doctor, she throws a fit and sticks her heels in and won't go. And the doctors won't take her anyways. They've dropped her. They don't want nothing to do with her. Due to the fact that she would make appointments and half the time didn't um, Okay. Yeah, so. And then, I, you know, I'm going to get another bird. But how do I get it, right? When there's no car. Pop, that's problem's been solved. I called the people I had gotten a little bit from. Explain that probably in a month, six weeks, I'll be getting another bird. Thirteen. But I have to pick it up. Would they be interested in making some money by picking the bird up and bringing it to me or what have you? I discuss what I'm willing to pay. They text back. They said, yeah, just let us know. What? I asked them if they'd be willing to pick it up. They said, and they mentioned actually coming and get me and give me a ride down there, what have you. So that is a relief. I feel so incomplete without a bird. Because it's not that I like birds. They're part of my identity. They just are. I mean, I got my first bird. Little parakeet. When I was 13 years old. He was a character. He'd get out of his swings and do somersaults. And I didn't know no better because I would put him on my shoulders and actually go outside. He never flew off.
they're just part of who I am. And when I don't have a bird, something is missing. So what kind of bird am I to get? Not a cockatiel. I am going to get a Quaker. Now, cockatiels will go from 250 to 300. A Quaker, uh, 400 up to 700. Depending, you know, like your green ones, they're about 400. Yeah. There we go. Didn't think that one wanted to stick. Somebody on TikTok had the nerve to ask me how old I was. So I stitched him. Told him it was none of his damn business. I was old enough to be his mother. and the, I had grandkids and that's all he needed. There, and I'm not telling you my exact age because that's not your business. So then he says, well, you must be insecure. I says, it's not about being insecure. I says, I was raised to, you don't ask people their age, that it is considered rude. Anyways, that is going to be all for today, and I will catch you later.